Hey everyone! Yes, today for the first time I'm going to reveal how much money I make with free motion as well as explain a lot other business aspects and try to as honestly as possible to reflect on the whole business side of free motion and tell you how it's going. There are a few points that I want to talk about, so this video is going to be split up into four segments. The first part is going to be explaining why Remotion costs money uh, in the first place. The second part is going to be the business model of Remotion. In the third part, we are going to look at expenses and earnings in numbers. And finally, we are going to round it off by talking about investors, whether we are going to get some, if somebody even wants to invest in Remotion and uh, whether we need them in the first place. All right, part one. Why does Remotion cost money? Especially when I initially launched Remotion, there was a bit of backlash because of the license that I chose. And the license that I chose was a custom one that I wrote myself, which essentially said that Individuals can use Remotion for free for their projects, but companies that are at least the size of four people, that they need to acquire a license that they have to pay for. And uh, yeah, people said in, in GitHub I should choose a different license and that because of the license that I chose, they don't want to use it. And uh, that if I choose this license, Remotion is not open source. Uh, rather it's source available because that license violates the spirit of open source. So yes, there you have it. I never call Remotion open source anymore. And yeah, I get it. It's pretty unfamiliar for people. Most of the time when you see a project on GitHub, it has a license like MIT, GPL and other really liberal license that allows you to do so many things with the software to even resell it and use it commercially in almost an unlimited sense. Um, but I also knew from some other projects that I was following is that if these projects get popular that the maintainers they really get flooded in issues even though if their project creates huge commercial value to other companies, they don't really get anything out of it except um, GitHub issues, questions, bug reports, sometimes even insults. And that leads to stress, burnout, etc. And this is not something I would wish on anybody and also not on myself. And uh, because I saw this from other projects and I felt that Remotion might become a bigger project, I wanted to protect myself against big companies using it, companies that definitely have the money and um, them just using it commercially and me not getting anything back from it. This was the initial idea of why I chose this license and I have to say I am pretty happy about that decision even eight months afterwards. And I know that there are other ways in which I could have monetized Remotion. Especially donation based setups are pretty common these days like GitHub sponsor or Open Collective. But for me this was never so interesting. How I see it is that there are like three levels of monetary goals that we can reach. The first one would be self-sustainability where we have enough money to pay all the bills, um, handle all bug reports, do general maintenance, answer questions, fix security vulnerabilities and keep the project going in general. The second one would be like the growth stage where we have all the money needed for sustainability 
as well as some excess money to invest into making everything better and bigger. Maybe get some more people involved and invest money into creating an even better developer experience, uh, stuff like that. And the third stage for me would be self-fulfillment, where we have all the money to sustain and also to pursue all your investment ideas into making it even better. But it's so profitable that you have even more excess money that you pay out to yourself. It's so profitable, we are so rich that we buy a Tesla and houses. Um, the entrepreneur dream, kind of. And uh, yeah, to be honest, for me, all three goals are interesting. Of course, we are only at the beginning and uh, some things you can only dream of. But um, my, point, my point is that if you go for donations on open source projects, you most likely will only reach like the self-sustainability goal that people only give as much money to, for the project to further exist because they rely on the project. But usually it doesn't go any higher than that. And uh, yeah, I have to be honest, I would like to build a business on top of free motion in the long term and uh, also if it goes really well try to chase these dreams i mean who wouldn't want to chapter two what is the business model behind remotion as i mentioned before we have a custom license that essentially says if you are an individual or a team of up to three people you can use remotion completely for free even commercially um, build your own business on top of Remotion. But if you are a team or a company of at least four people, that's then you need to start paying for Remotion. And uh, that means that people can start experimenting with Remotion completely without having to pay anything. Um, it's uh, pretty easy to um, get people to to get people to try Remotion if they can use it for free, right? And uh, yeah, hopefully they will build cool stuff and carry it out in the world, spread the word about Remotion. And if they also really like it, there's a chance that they will tell their employer about it and that maybe the company will also jump on board the Remotion train. And uh, so yeah, I think that's a pretty nice effect that allowed us to get some customers at first and also um, I also don't want a company to buy Remotion um, just to then figure out it's not for them and or that they are not happy with it so I allow companies to build their product on Remotion first and only if they ship it to production that they have to pay from that time on so that way I ensure that every customer actually has, evalu has evaluated Remotion and is happy enough with it before they start paying. So how much does it cost? It costs $15 per month per developer that is working on a Remotion project. And if you use Remotion to render videos on your server, then you need to pay $10 per month per instance that Remotion is running on. So the idea behind this is that the more videos you produce, the more you pay. So that if somebody, if, if like a really big company is going to render 1 million videos with Remotion, that they pay more than a company is just going to render videos really sporadically with free motion. Um, I decided to measure that by the amount of servers that you have that are rendering videos um, because many people, they, for them it's really hard to track how many videos they specifically render and this is a relatively easy thing to measure or count. 
Chapter 3, Spendings and Earnings. Right now we have 7 customers and we make $1,300 per year from them at the moment. And actually all of these 7 customers came in the past 4 months. In the first 4 months of the project, um, nobody actually signed up for the company license. Um, which was sad to see, but of course it had a good reason. We only charge them once they ship their products to production. Um, and of course we saw that some companies were developing something um, and that always gave us hope. And after four months we are now happy that we have scaled it up to seven. Also we see more companies um, who are right now in the stage of uh, building and are hopefully going to launch their products at some point. And about once a week, um, some representative from a new company comes and is asking for help to evaluate whether Remotion is uh, good for them or tips on getting started. And uh, I am always happy to talk to them as well. At the same time we are trying to streamline the process, of course making the software more stable and adding more features and more documentation so that more and more stuff is possible for the companies to figure out by themselves and that they don't have to ask us. But in the beginning it was a lot of communication was required for them to set up their solution, which we are trying to reduce as much as possible to make it more scalable in the end. Um, let's compare that to the expenses. Right now, so far in these eight months, I have spent about $6,000 on people making contributions to Remotions. There are two of them who get paid for any pull request and community work that they do on Remotion. One administrative guy and now we are making a budget for a social media expert which is going to boost our presence on all channels hopefully. As well as hosting costs, um, making a few stickers and other merchandise and um, putting a few bounties on GitHub issues. So you can go to GitHub and if you see that an issue has a bounty on it, you will get paid if you solve the issue. So yes, right now we have spent more than we have earned, which I think is pretty normal at, uh, at this stage. And also for a startup like Ting, it's, uh, these are like pretty low numbers, right? So we are not in danger of uh, having to shut down at any time soon and uh, running out of money. How I actually sustain myself is I still work two days a week at a tech venture builder called Accelera, um, which means it leaves me still three days a week to work on Remotion as well as the weekend if it's necessary. And uh, that is enough to cover all my basic living expenses like rent, which I share with two other flatmates. And I don't have a car and no family, so I keep the cost down a lot using that. But still living a very good and uh, joyful life here in beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. And uh, currently the, the loss that we are making, I can compensate it by having done some good cryptocurrency investments in my past. Now I have uh, sold off more than half of my cryptocurrencies and I am investing everything into Remotion because um, that I think has even a higher chance of a good return. I know it's uh, weird, but it's 2021 and uh, that's uh, a story that I think is not unique to me. <laughs>
So if the spending and the earning is staying the same, we can easily sustain this for another one to two years. So we are not at danger of going broke. And this project is only eight months old. So I hope in the next one to two years, we will be able to massively grow the technology and the business. But what if we still run out of money? Or what if we want to go even bigger? Let's get to chapter four, investors. I oftentimes get asked, will you raise a million dollars to really get it off the ground? Are you going after that venture capital money? Can I invest in Remotion? And to that, my answer is maybe. So we are not currently looking for money right now because like I mentioned before, it's going pretty stable, growing slowly but steadily with confidence and we are sustainable for another one to two years, just how we are doing it right now. So it's not an immediate urgency to get a lot more money uh, to spend. Uh, but if I see that a door is opening that is only open if you spend a lot of money, then I would be considering it. And this is a possibility, even though my preferred outcome would be to uh, bootstrap the company, which means to never have to raise any money. Um, I am a tech enthusiast first and I would rather be able to make the tech really good without having the, the pressure from non-technical people telling you you need to choose out that money there and there otherwise you go bankrupt. I would like to uh, save myself the trouble but of course I know that's how the, the tech industry is mostly working at this and maybe I'm also just waiting a few more years until I get older and I feel ready to play this uh, tech industry venture capital game. But yeah, right now not looking for investors, but if I look at my Twitter direct messages, it seems like I could have already raised a lot of money, a lot of um, names that I've known before have messaged me and offered investment, which is uh, awesome. And uh, like I said, I'm leaving that door open to the future. All right, that's everything I have to tell about the business that is Remotion. Thanks a lot for watching. And also I wanted to thank the 1000 people of you that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. That's uh, a significant number because now I can also monetize the YouTube channel. Maybe another revenue stream that gives another dollar or two. But uh, in any case, feels good to have uh, reached this number and it's almost like a childhood dream to have even just 1000 subscribers on YouTube really means a lot to me. So yeah, thank you and see you in the next video.